So in this video, I want to show you two essential things that you need for CS50. Number one is the code editor. And number two is once you have that code editor, how do you actually go ahead and submit your assignments? Now, when I took the course, I thought that this was a fairly straightforward thing to do. I mean, I just read the instructions on the CS50 website, followed them, and in no time, I was ready to start coding. However, I've been getting a lot of messages from people who are making this a lot more complicated than it needs to be. Please keep in mind that the main thing that's gonna keep you from successfully completing CS50 is not staying within the bounds of the course. Again, when you don't understand something, stay within the course. Don't go and find other tutorials. When you need a code editor, use what the course gives you. Let's get right into it. Just type in cs50.harvard.edu forward slash x. Hit enter and it should direct you. Okay, so while you're here, click around, read, try to understand what's going on in this website. Try to understand what it is that you're going to get out of this course and what it is that you're signing up for. Okay, so let's go ahead and install the code environment. So just scroll down here on the left menu and click on week one C. You'll notice that here you have your lecture and then you have your section practice problems in lab one. You want to click on lab one here and scroll down. Here is the instructions for getting the code environment. So the first thing I need to do is you need to have a GitHub account. So the first step here would be to go into github.com and once you're here, you want to just go ahead and sign up. Obviously, it's going to ask you to follow some instructions here. You go ahead and make a new account. And once you're logged in, obviously, I've, I have a bunch of stuff here because I've been using this account for a while. I'm going to leave this open here and I'm going to go back to the CS50 site. And I'm going to click over here on CS50.dev and it's going to ask me to log in. It'll take a minute to load. And so as this loads, it should either give you a prompt asking you for you to take some additional steps. So if that's the case, go ahead and follow the steps on the screen and eventually it will open up your code space. Now here you'll see that I have a bunch of stuff because I've been using this uh, code space for a while. And so once you get here, you can go ahead and start coding. This is all running on your browser. You don't have to download anything into your machine and you do not need to deal with Git. So I'm not gonna go into the details of what Git is. It's just basically a way to keep track of your code and you can keep track of changes and then you can store all of that on GitHub. So GitHub in a way is like a Google Drive, but for your code that you can also store new versions of whatever you code you revise and you can always go back to a previous version so if you have a piece of code a program that you wrote and you made some changes today and tomorrow all of a sudden it's not working on the server so you have the option of reverting that code to how it was a week ago for example i'm not getting into the details all that is done through github and github is also a bit of a social platform for coders so think of it as maybe like a facebook but not really again a combination of like a google drive and a facebook for coding and for coders and the beautiful thing about this code space is that it is running on our web browser i didn't download anything into my computer whatever code that i write here it's not going to be connected to my computer in any way so if i write code here that is buggy and that it takes up all the memory on my system my computer won't freeze my computer won't be affected all this is happening in something called a virtual environment and I think this is the main benefit of using this code space. It's an isolated environment that you can get your feet wet on the code, you can make mistakes, and it's not going to affect your local computer. Uh, the second main benefit of using this is obviously that it's connected to CS50. So submitting your assignments and using their debugging tools, it's all integrated into one platform here. The downside I would say is that this code space only works as long as you're connected to the internet. If you don't have an internet connection, you won't be able to use it. Now, you could download VS Code into your machine and you could pull those GitHub repositories onto your machine and work with the code there. 
that's possible and you can take that code offline um, but you need to make sure that you have all the libraries it is not so simple so again i recommend just to use this code space on a web browser it's not so hard nowadays to have internet connection when you need it again it's just the perfect way to get started coding right away i can go right in here code hello dot pi for example hit enter print let's say print hello and down here i can just write in here python hello hit enter and you see it just prints hello so you can write your code you can run it you can debug it all in a machine that's not affecting your local computer okay so once you write your code here how do you go ahead and actually submit it so i'm going to go back here to the problem set web page i'm just going to copy this command here for submitting my homework copy that i'm going to paste it over here hit enter i would type here yes hit enter it's going to give me a link to where i can see my grade for this assignment 